Hello everyone, welcome to the day 2 of the IBM Flash System training. We have covered the dashboard section in the previous training session. Today we will cover the monitoring section in this video. As discussed last time, we are using IBM Flash System 5200 in this training. The GUI interface will be same across all IBM Flash System store-wise family products such as Flash System 5000, Flash System 7000 or 9000 or SVC V9000 and V7000. Without wasting much time, let's get started. The home page is the dashboard page. Entering the IP address will take us to the dashboard. Second option is monitoring. Monitoring allows you to access the system hardware. So this gives you the actual live view of your system. So for example, this one is IBM Flash System 5200. So this shows, this is the front view of your 5200. There are six drives and this is showing the placement of the six drives. This is the rear view of your system. We can also go to the drive section and we can see the drive details here on the right side. Then this is the rear view of your system where the node canisters are there power supply is there and this is the live view like you will actually see the physical system so you hover your mouse and it will show you what components are there power supply these are the fiber channel ports these are the ethernet ports ethernet port 1 is always management port 1 you always have two Ethernet ports for redundancy purpose. It's up to you whether you want to create an alternate management IP or not. If you want to create an alternate management IP, you will need the second port should be connected to the switch. The second IP should be configured. So both the things are required. So this gives you the more detailed view about each component. Node canisters. How many node canisters are there? One I group, one control enclosure, two node canisters. How many adapters are there? two adapters, one adapter in the node canister one, other adapter in node canister two. Fiber channel ports. So the number of fiber channel ports, each adapter carrying four ports. Management port. So you can access all hardware components from this system hardware view. If there are more than one enclosure, let's say it's only one control enclosure at this moment, but if there are more than one enclosure, there would be an arrow sign which will be available here and using this you can move to other control enclosures. So that will give you view of each control enclosure. On the top you see the serial number. So this serial number is for each control enclosure so, or each IO group. So every control enclosure will have their own serial number. So this is the machine type, enclosure ID, serial number these three information we usually use even when we are logging a case with IBM if the column is not configured IBM will not be notified if there is any hardware failure or hardware error on the system then you continuously need to monitor your system 24 by 7 because there is no time uh, hardware may fail so somebody needs to be on call somebody needs to manage the system 24 by 7 so on the top we have these two options enclosure action and system action System action allows you to power off the system. The power off option was not available in the GUI. It was earlier available in the service assistant tool. So we had to power off the node canister by going into the service page. Rename the system. So my system name is currently IBM flash underscore store wise. I can rename the system. IBM flash system 5200 store wise let's say i rename this so the system is renamed you see this ibm flash system 50 this is on the fly no impact on the system modify system topology turn off all identify leds power of system added system offload throttle hardware so all these options are available you can export the system details to the CSV file as well. Enclosure action, like there are, if there are multiple enclosures. By default, it is one enclosure is there, one control enclosure is there. You can have, or you may have maximum of four control enclosures. 
our system can grow up to eight node canister which can fit in four control enclosures so these are options are there for the control enclosures power of system will turn the entire system off irrespective of control enclosures or number of control enclosure you want to turn off specific control enclosure then you need to go for enclosure actions in the monitoring the second option is easy tier reports this option used to be very useful when there were like different tiers but nowadays we are looking for all flash arrays so it's only one tier it is majority of the time doing load balancing easy tier stats become available once you start writing data in your system so once you have created volumes and your data is there it will start its analysis immediately and then the report will be available after 24 hours and then it will keep on generating the reports every five minutes so it's a continuous process once initiated it is always on events it is the same page that we can access from here go to view all events it will take us to event page now there are four options unfixed alerts recommended actions unfixed messages and alerts and show all by default like it is showing you only the unfixed messages so whatever alerts are there they are visible on the system show all will show you all the event irrespective of the messages whether they are fixed whether they were fixed they are okay so it will show you all the messages recommended action is your unfixed messages by default it is showing you recommended and unfixed messages you select an event go to the action menu and choose what you want to do you want to run a fixed procedure you want to mark that event as fixed clear log properties this will show you the event details refresh to refresh the page if there are new events if the old event has cleared off performance will give you the performance stat page cpu utilization the cpu of your system of the flash control enclosure io ports are under interface then your volumes and the m disk so you have bandwidth and throughput this is showing you only past maximum five minutes of data you cannot see last week data or one month old data or last year data for that you need to have a different tool for example ibm spectrum control and cognos they both are reporting tool which provides you past year data last year data and depending upon how the logs are being collected this will show you only maximum last five minutes of data so if there was bottleneck last night and we are checking in the morning that bottleneck details will not be visible in the system stats it will has to be collected from the spectrum control or storage inside you can check it for each node you can check it at the system level background processes when we create a new volume usually the volume is formatted but volume is immediately available for read and write primary writes are going to the cashier of the system they are not being destaged to the disk it is brought online immediately but it is still being formatting in the background so this is the same page that we can access from here background task so if a volume format is going on or a volume copy is going on which is taking some time that task will appear here in the background processes pools there are multiple options which are available under the pools some of the options may match with other options as well for example volume by pool you might find this in volume section as well volume by pool host volume by host and cluster you will find this option here again volume by host and cluster so anything related to volume will appear here under volume section anything related to the host will appear here under host section anything related to the pool will appear here in the pool section so the very first option under pools is pools it shows you how many pools are created on the system i can do a right click rename or i can go to actions and rename right click and actions will provide me the same context menu so it says ibm storage pool one i rename this it's again on the fly it will show me a background command that is initiated for this task the task is completed the pool is renamed this is the total capacity of the pool 25.56 terabyte this is the physical capacity it is not the effective capacity effective capacity will be more 77.57 terabyte 
so physical 25 terabyte is providing me around 77 terabyte which is three times compression so i'm getting three to one compression ratio this might change once we start writing the data depending upon the data type right now there is no data so system is showing me the default or the possible maximum compression ratio this compression ratio will also be available on the dashboard usually it is there so for example here it is showing me 19.8 is to 1 because there is no data at this moment once it starts writing the data only then we will get the actual compression ratio 